So, we, we create a new sketch, name it Exercise Wheel Rig. And change the workspace unit. Change it to millimeter into grams. So now, start a new sketch and the front line. And change the name to main sketch. And right click on the front plane. The view normal to sketch and draw four circles and three lines. And change the vertical line to a construction line. So now, add dimensions to fully define the sketch. You click the four circles and add concentric constraint. Now click on the construction line in the two diagonal lines and then add symmetric constraint. Now, your sketch is fully defined. So, so now, let's create a solid extrude. Make sure it's solid, new, and then change this to symmetric. Now, add the following thing. And change the depth to 150, and then accept the feature. Rename part 1 to wheel ring. So, let's add more parts. Let's show the main sketch and hide the planes. And create a new extrude. Make sure it's solid and it's new and select the following pieces. Change the symmetric and give it a depth of 200. Click draft and change it to 5 degrees. Notice the direction of the draft. It should be thicker in the middle and smaller in the front. So let's change the direction. Let's create this fork. Create another extrusion. This time, click solid and then add. 
and select the triangle profile from the main sketch. Do that easily. Hide part 2. Make sure it's blind and it's 25 mm. Click on merge scope. Click the wheel rim and click part 2. and accept the feature. So let's add a draft. So click on neutral plane and choose the top face of the spoke and then for entities to draft, click on the sides of the spoke. Next is change the degrees to 15 and just make sure that the front face of this spoke is smaller than the back. Accept the feature. Now click the mirror feature Change it to Feature Mirror and then for your features to Mirror, click on Extrude 3 and Draft 1. Click on Mirror Plane and choose the back face of this boat. Accept the feature. Let's add some trellis or the entities to fill it. Click on Face of Extrude 3 and the Mirror. After that, change the radius to 2 mm and then accept the feature. Now, let's create the rest of the spokes. By using a circular pattern, we need to make a feature pattern and select following features. So, there's 4 extrude, 3 draft, 1 mirror 1, and fillet. One click on the axis of pattern and click on the edge of the center circle angle is 360 degrees and the instant count set it to 5. Equal spacing should be checked and then accept the feature. Now, let's start a new sketch on the center circle to avoid confusion. Let's just hide main sketch for now. Draw two circles in vertical line. Now, change the outer circle in the vertical line into construction lines. Now, let's add the dimension. Change the name of this sketch to both circles and accept the sketch. Let's create another extrusion and let's choose remove click on the center hole. And after that, change this to all accept the feature. Okay.
Now go back to your bold circle sketch and show it. Select the whole feature, choose the following, counter bar, show ISO clearance, and change this to M10. Fit should be normal, and the following number should still be the same. Now, for the sketch point to place the hole, click this point and accept the feature. Next, let's add a circular pattern so that the feature pattern so I can hold one. For the axis of pattern, Select the edge of the inner silker. Make sure to change the instance count to 5. And then accept the feature. Now, we need to remove geometry from the rim to fit a tire. So select the extrude feature. Hide the bolt circle sketch and shown the main sketch now hide the wheel rim let's click remove and choose the outermost profile from the main sketch change blind to up to face and let's show the wheel rim again and click on the front face Click on the second end position and click offset distance and type 20 mm. Again, click up to up to face. Click the black face and click on offset distance. And add 20 mm. Now accept the feature and hide the main sketch and now let's add chamfers. Click on the following edges And change the distance to 8 mm and accept the feature now let's add a pillip select the inner edges Leave it to 5 and accept the feature. Now, let's assign a material. Now, right click on the wheel rim, assign material, and choose aluminum 1060. And now you can accept the material. And after that, you can edit the appearance that you wanted. To summarize it all, the essence of car wheel rim is to provide a film based on which to fit the line. Its dimensions and shape should be suitable to adequately accommodate the particular tire required for the vehicle. Design is an important industrial activity which influences the quality of the product. The wheel rim is modeled using AutoCAD software.